So you graduated in 1970 from Harvard Business School. Right. And then you went to work at the Pentagon. How did that happen? At, at Harvard Business School, you know, I, I basically had worked at Dartmouth. At Harvard Business School, I, you know, I didn't know, have any business background. I spent most of my time out at Wellesley, uh, according my wife to be. But, but I, one class I did a fair amount of work in was a class that was taught by someone who had been a former assistant secretary of defense. And uh, he recommended me to work in the Pentagon for a small analysis group that worked on projects for, you know, for, for, the, for the top leaders of the Pentagon. And, and that really transformed my life. So um, you got assigned for a little bit of your time in government to the White House yeah. under President Nixon, and you worked for John Ehrlichman. What was that like? I started in the Pentagon in April of 1972, six weeks before the Watergate break-in. And so it, it looks sort of like, you know, you didn't understand the implications at the time. So I was there through the election. There was a landslide victory over McGovern. I got this big promotion, and I was going to be Ehrlichman's deputy for the for economic policy area. And then Watergate hit and blew up, and I watched these people who had very senior positions get carried off and... Uh, you know, or, you know, Ehrlichman, uh, you know, got convicted after I'd left. But I, I looked at a number of people there in deep, deep trouble. And it, it made a huge impression on me. But the positive impression was uh, George Schultz was Secretary of the Treasury. He had two guys that worked for him that I had a very good working relationship. So you went back to your native uh, Midwest, Chicago, and you joined Goldman Sachs. How did that come about? Well, I, I got to tell you, it, it, careers are a funny thing. As I, as I said, I've never been big on career engineering. And w when I graduated from Dartmouth, I didn't know what an investment banker was. And, uh, but I learned in government that I liked multitasking and I liked po economic policy and finance and financial uh, issues and problem solving. So I figured out that, that investment banking might be a good thing to explore. And I, I also determined I never wanted to live in New York. Ask me why, I don't know. But that was, what I, that was my view. So you were at Goldman. You obviously must have done a pretty good job because you got promoted successively every couple of years or so. And you wound up being the CEO of Goldman Sachs, a job you did not aspire to, right? right? Yeah, you did pick. You know, you remember what it was like when we, we graduated from, 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 from college and business school. If, if you wanted to run something, you didn't go into finance or investment banking. You went in because you liked the markets, you wanted to work with clients, you wanted to work on multiple problems. So that's why I picked Goldman Sachs. And then in 1994, the firm had some problems. I went off to New York, told, told Wendy, where we're gonna pick the next heads or heads of the firm. Don't worry, I won't do that. And then I called her and said, well, guess what? I've been drafted to help okay. turn things around, but I'll be here only for two years. And we always joked because that was a rolling two years. I was there for 12 years in New York and I loved it. 